Today, we're going to assemble the Solar House Kit by Brown Dog Gadgets. Your Solar House Kit includes the following parts. Nine laser cut wood pieces, one solar panel, one green LED and one white LED, an electric motor, fan blade, nut and bolt, four rubber feet, some short lengths of wire, and a roll of quarter inch wide maker tape. Let's build the house. We'll start with the base. That's the single largest laser cut wood piece. Apply maker tape to the base following the etched lines. Simply use a pair of scissors to cut maker tape to the correct length for each line. Peel the wax paper backer and stick the tape down in place. The great thing about maker tape is that you can overlap it because it's conductive on both sides and all the way through. Overlapping the corners will complete the circuit. Cut and apply maker tape on all the etched circuit lines. There are four square holes in the base that you'll need to push maker tape through. Cut a piece of tape to length, push it through the hole, and wrap the tape around to the back side of the base. Repeat this with the other three holes. An alternative way to do it is to first stick the tape to the base and then press the loose end through the hole with a small tool like a screwdriver and smoothing it onto the back of the plate. Either way you do it, just make sure that the tape wraps all the way around from the front to the back. Next, we'll add the white LED to the base. You might want to turn the base around so that the lettering is facing you. We'll see an L- and L- plus in the center of the section where the house will sit. An LED has a positive and negative leg. The positive leg is longer than the negative leg. Once the legs are spread apart, it can be difficult to tell one from the other. So one little trick we'll do sometimes is to make a small bend in the positive side. That way we know which is which. Then bend the legs apart, putting the longer one on the L plus and the shorter one on the L minus. Cut two pieces of maker tape and place them over the legs of the LED to connect it to the circuit. Now we'll add feet to the base. Flip the base upside down Peel the feet off the strip they're attached to, and place one foot in each corner of the base. Flip it back over when we're done. Next, we're going to add the side walls of the house. Take one of the short pieces of wire and bend it into a U shape, then thread it through the hole in the bottom of one of the walls. Insert the wall into the base with the ends of the wire going into the two holes on either side of the slots the base of the wall goes into. Twist the two ends of the wire tightly to hold the wall securely in place against the base. Repeat the same process with the second wall. Now we'll add the front of the house. Place the four slots of the house front over the four tabs of the sidewalls and then slide the house front down. Now let's add the roof. Place the four slots of the roof over the four tabs of the wall and slide it down to lock it in place. This will overhang the front of the house and hold it in place as well. Next is the solar panel. Notice that it has two wires attached to it a red positive wire, and a black negative wire. What we'll do is add some tape to the back of the solar panel to hold it in place on the roof. You could use masking tape, double-sided tape, or in this case, we're just making two loops out of maker tape. Place the tape loops on the back of the solar panel. Then thread the wires through the hole in the roof, then press the solar panel down in place to stick it to the roof. Attach the solar panel wires to the S positive and S negative. Place the red wire over the S plus and hold it in place with a short piece of maker tape. 
put the black wire over the S minus connection and hold it in place with a small piece of maker tape. If your room is brightly lit, you might even see the white LED come on at this time. Next, we'll build our windmill. It's really a fan powered by the solar panel, but we do have an activity where you can actually use the electric motor to generate electricity to light up an LED. Press the motor into the tower. Push it into the round hole from behind, and don't press it in more than about halfway. We want to make sure that the attached wires on the back of the motor point down and that they don't get pinched up against the wood. The motor should fit snugly, but if it doesn't, you can add the nut and bolt and tighten it finger tight to hold the motor in place. Slide the second, smaller piece of the tower in place. The smaller part of it faces front, and the larger part faces the back. The tower is held to the base with several short pieces of wire. Bend them into a U-shape and put them through the two holes on the base of the tower. Then place the tower into the slots on the base. The tower goes into the slots on the base and the wires go through the round holes. On the bottom side of the base, twist the wires to hold the tower in place. The back of the tower also has a hole that matches up with two holes in the base. Thread a piece of wire through these holes and then twist it tight. This keeps the tower from tipping forward. When complete, the tower will be solidly in place with the slots and tabs and the three pieces of wire. Now we can add the fan blade. Simply line up the fan with the shaft of the motor and press it directly in place. When pressed all the way on, there should still be a small gap between the fan blade and the motor housing. Give the fan blade a spin with your finger or blow on it and make sure it spins freely. Thread the motor wires through the holes from the back of the tower to the front. Now we'll connect the motor wires to the rest of the circuit. We'll attach the red wire to the M minus connection. What we're doing is connecting the motor reverse of the typical polarity. Do the same with the black wire, connecting it to the M plus connection by adding a small piece of maker tape over the top. Now we can add our green LED. Make sure the longer leg of the LED goes to the L plus and the shorter to the L minus. Giving a bend to the LED legs can effectively make them shorter and also keep the LED from tipping over. Add a piece of maker tape over the leg of the LED to connect it to the circuit, both on the L plus side and the L minus side. Now we'll make some switches by adding maker tape to these wooden laser cut pieces. Cut a piece of maker tape long enough to wrap around the outside and part of the inside of the small U-shaped wood pieces. Peel off the backer and stick the maker tape onto the wood. The maker tape will go all the way around, turning this wood block into a conductor. When the switch is placed in the holes, it will bridge the gap in the circuit and allow current to flow, turning on the motor or the LED. If the switch is just a little loose, you can always add another layer of maker tape to either the switch or to the base. Congratulations, you just built your own solar house. Take it outside and test it. In the sunlight, the white LED will light up. Adding the switch will light up the green LED or power up the fan. The Solar House Kit by Brown Dog Gadgets. For more free resources, tutorials, and projects, come visit us at browndoggadgets.com.